right guys welcome back to another video uh, modding tutorials but basically this video is going to be about how to install uh, Link or some people call it system link but the actual name is Link for 360 it has to be JTAG RGH or any type of mod um, any of them that run homebrews fan don't really matter but it allows you to run on a private server only for modded consoles so if your console is banned from Xbox Live it doesn't matter because you're banned from Xbox Live not the private server don't matter if KV is banned because KV is for Xbox Live, not the private server. The private server allows you to play online any game that is compatible with System Link. allows you to play online with any other people that have to, um, that have Link. Any other people that have Link can play it. So people who have modded consoles, basically. And uh, you're allowed to mod on it, but you have to have modded like you have to label it as modded. I'll show you everything later on about that. So before we actually begin on the console, we have to do a few things on the PC first. We'll do everything on the PC possible first, and then we'll go to the console. So to start off, go to the description and download Aurora. Now the, it is possible for Freestyle Dash, but at this current point now, Freestyle Dash is no longer supported. And uh, as much as I'd love to use Freestyle, because I have a nice Windows 8 skin for it, it's just not supported no more and Aurora is supported. The reason I know it's supported is because the version 7 just came out today. So when you go down into the description and go to the link you'll get this popped up. So it doesn't matter if you go into a different tab or anything this will pop up okay. So it's 0 0.7 now I recommend getting the latest version uh, even if you download an older version just put it on the console and update it. That reminds me you do need to have internet. So when you download this, you're going to have to have 7-zip or some type of Archie package. And then once you go into your downloads and find the Aurora, wherever you save it, just extract the files. Uh, make sure it's in a folder. If it doesn't come into a folder, then just make one for it. Now, I think, yeah, mine's just come into a folder. Uh, you can rename it to whatever you're on. I'm just going to call it Aurora. Now, once you've got Aurora, it should look like this inside it. Now, once you've got that, that's pretty much that. So, just move that to your USB, your flash drive. Or, if you're doing it through neighborhood, then just uh, drag it onto your directory of your HDD. Or, where, whatever storage you're using. Just drag it onto your directory. Now, guys, Aurora is a dashboard. Uh, so, for you to actually use System Link, or Link, because that's its real name, you're gonna have to use Aurora. Now Aurora it looks professional, it's quite nice. I I like it. I've moved from freestyle to it. Uh, we'll show you what it looks like when we get onto the console. So once you've got Aurora downloaded, that's it for the downloads, but not it for the PC. There'll be a second link in the description for Xbox Unity. Now if when you go into Xbox Unity, you'll come up to this type of page. Now this is where you can get title updates and everything. What you want to do is register an account. And once you've registered an account with your, with your name, your username, your email, your password and your confirmed password, it will send you an email to activate your account. Once you've activated your account, test it, log in and make sure it works. Now when I was doing my account, mine took forever. I think I'd done about five attempts on registering because I just couldn't... I'm not, an, I'm not an idiot guys, but when I filled all this out and registered, I got the email, then I went back on to login, it just didn't work, so uh, try this once, if you get the problem where you try and do login and it just does not work, or this disappears, or whatever when you try and log into your account, just wait like a whole day, because that's what I did and that's it just worked. So once you've sorted that out, that is pretty much everything. Now what we're going to do is move over to the console. Uh, make sure you have Dash Launch, just before I forget, you need to have Dash Launch. Everyone should have Dash Launch, if you don't have Dash Launch, uh, what are you doing? Just make, sure, just make sure you have Dash Launch, you need it, okay? So, I'll see you on the console guys. Right now guys, now we're on the console, this is what Aurora does look like. Now to install it, all you got to do is just uh, go on to, where is it? Oh there it is, go on to your file manager or... Actually, I'm going to do this in XEX menu because everyone has XEX menu. So when you're on XEX menu, when it loads, 
since the USB that I use is also for recording, I can't properly show you. But what you'd do is you'd go on the file, you would press Y, you'd do copy or cut or whatever you want to do, and then you'd come over to your HDD and then you'd press Y again and paste it. So that's pretty much that sorted. So when you have done that, go into the Aurora dashboard, the default XEX, launch it and you should be prompted with this screen. Now all your games may not show, it might do or may not. If it does not show, go into, there we go, yeah, in here, then you go in here and make your paths. Now if you've ever had Freestyle Dash or Out before, then you'll know how to do it. You can do auto scan for title updates, auto scan for paths. You go onto profile. Your profile will look different, guys. So when you go onto Unity Connection, you type in your username and you type in your password. Then you press Request API Key, and that's what will come up. Then you enable your Unity Connection. There we go. Then once that is done, you want to go over to your freestyle dash, no not freestyle dash, dash launch then when you're in dash launch you need to make sure your default path is Aurora okay so every time you turn your console on it'll go onto Aurora dashboard that will give you this guide as well where it tells you everything at the bottom and all this and that so you'll need that on network enable ping patch disable dev link and con patch now once you've got that all sorted you should pretty much be good to go to go on to a game of like say any any cod so let's say i'm going on black ops 2 here we go it's loading now so i'm on black ops 2 so where would you begin you go on system link you do rather join our create game oh no no games press guide and then you go on system link now on here you can rather create your own rooms join a room or whatever you want to do uh, let's see if we can join this one all right we managed just to join it so now once you're in this room uh, press refresh on here and there you go now guys I will admit the system link is done by it's not by a proper server it's done by from your console so as you can see some people will lag more it's not your internet it could be your internet but it's most likely just how far the other person is because it's hosting off their console uh, not like off a server so pretty much guys once you've got that sorted out you can play you don't have to worry too much about other modders and stuff because uh, Link has its own like protection. That is pretty much Link set up, guys. You can play with your friends, anyone who has a, a modded console. You can have a lot of fun. If you want to join my modded games, I'm now hosting modded games on Link, uh, such as uh, these type of games for Zombie Land and all sorts of fun games. Uh, when I can get the plugins, but Zombie Land's the other one that works. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to join. If you want to join the modded lobbies, uh, go to the Zombieland video in the description. That pretty much has all the information you need for a lot of stuff, like download and everything. So, see you in another video, guys. Goodbye. Brother, let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire.